quick update on the car. I know most of you guys probably don't follow me on IG, so I usually post on IG for up-to-date updates, so if you guys would, follow me on IG. IG's in the, uh, in the description. So, all right. Since my last video, there has been a quite a few, no, nah, not a quite a few, but there's a couple updates. I do have the header from PLM. Uh, you would have to get the, man, if I, don't quote me, but I think you have to get the K24 swapped 8th gen PLM header. And with that, Merc Racing was able to mod it. Um, this wasn't a quick, most people, they usually get the 8th gen Skunk 2 or the PLM. They bang some of the primaries, and it, what it does is kind of mushes the primary a little bit. So to me, I don't like that. It kind of restricts the flow. One of the alternatives is to get the high-tech high, high tech or something like that, um, but it's about $1,600, $1,700, and it's pretty pricey. Um, but with the PLM that I bought, Merc Racing was able to, as you guys know, they weld, re-bend the primaries. They cut and welded, routed everything. I will post pictures as I talk, so you guys will see uh, pictures as I, as I talk. As you can see, they re-welded everything. They actually increased the collector piping. I think the stock collector is about 2.5 inches. They increased it to three inches. Also added a race high flow cat, which I need it for, uh, for inspections here uh, where I'm at, so I couldn't just go straight pipe all the way. So they did add that. I believe they did that, modified where everything clears. So it looks good, guys. I'm really happy with the work. Now, for some reason, with a lot of people I've talked to that did the K20 head swap on that Z7, you could use the OEM valve cover, the 9th gen, and just get the modified cam bolt from 4-piston. So I went that route. If you go with the 8th gen uh, valve cover, you have to mod the timing chain cover, which don't want to do that. Just get the modded um, cam bolt. But for some reason, I'll post pictures up here too, the 9th gen valve cover does not fit on this K20 head. So I am very, we are, actually me and Merc Racing, a couple of people I've talked to that have done this swap, very confused on why my 9th gen valve cover does not fit a K20 head. Now I got the K20 head, it's the 8th gen, from what I've been told from uh, for piston that I got the head from it's from the eighth gen so it should bolt right up and guys it's a huge difference so when you do do the k20 head swap make sure your ninth gen fits on there I don't know if it was maybe my because I have a 2015 maybe the valve cover it no actually it don't even make sense everything should be the same I just don't get why the ninth gen valve cover does not fit the k20 head Anyways, what Merc Racing ended up doing, they re-welded the valve cover, so they filled out the gaps to make it fit perfectly on the um, head. And, you know, I was just kind of disappointed that we had to do that. You know, I've been told by a lot of people that have done the swap that it's just a direct bolt-on, so I'm not quite sure why mine um, had to be modified. Who knows? Um, but it's done. Merc Racing modified it for me. Kudos to them, thank you very much. So, we got that done. We do have a slight oil leak coming from the motor. Um, they're trying to tackle it. Maybe something got um, uh, moved out. You know, they, they were messing with this. Uh, we had a previous oil leak. So, the valve cover, as it, it's in the back. So, when they put everything in, they're assuming, which we shouldn't assume, but by, from everyone's documentation, bolts right up, everything made. So, there was a gap. So air uh, oil was spewing out from there. So they had to, like I said, re-weld the, the, the valve cover to um, to uh, match it, made it with the uh, head. So now that was done. They went for a test drive. There's another oil leak coming from the timing chain cover area. So they're going to double check on that. That's just the update as of now. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully we get a little bit of update sometime this week. After that, guys, after we they actually they clear and test drive the car for about a couple of days to a week going to set up the tune now we are not we're in the works of am i going to drive to imw tune my tuner is derek from imw i'm deciding if i should just drive up there or there is a shop near merc racing 
uh, their Honda Performance Shop that they have a dyno and we might remote tune in. So just in case something happens, we don't want a mishap where you know anything could happen, drive all the way to PA, something happens, gotta tow it back down. There's just a lot of hassle. So I might end up just tuning it near Merck Racing, get it tuned there, remote tune it, and get numbers there. So I know every dyno tune is gonna be a little different, so I don't know if these numbers are gonna be rated higher or lower. I might get it tuned down there, and then we know that the car runs maybe in a month or two later, just drive up to IMW just to get some dyno numbers or retweak it or whatever, uh, just to get an accurate measurements. I don't like changing dynos because every dyno, even if it's the same type of dyno, re reads different. So I kind of want a, a good baseline, a solid, um, a solid I want to, what, what I'm trying to say, I'm, I want to get rid of any discrepancies in different dynos. Derek has been back tuner. I've only been on that dyno with that car. I don't want to jump on because um, I don't want it to be like, okay, I dyno to it down there and I'm getting 600 wheel horsepower when in actuality, if I put it on Derek's um, dyno, it might read 580, you know? I just want an accurate measurement of how much horsepower I've increased over all the modifications I've done. So that's the plan. Uh, yeah, so that's basically the update. And my phone's going off. <laughs> that's basically the update, guys. Um, stay tuned. I'm very, man, sorry about that. I'm very excited about, you know, what this car can do. I know a lot of you guys have been hitting me up about, you know, status of the car. It's coming soon. Hopefully in the next month or so, guys, we'll have the car on the road. And when we do, I do plan on doing a trip, hopefully with Merc Racing and maybe Reese's Cars to do a like East Coast, um, uh, East Coast, East Coast tour. I know we want to go down to Florida, uh, maybe in, in Georgia, Atlanta area, just to hit some different couple racetracks meet a lot of i know there's a lot of ninth gens in florida so i'll probably meet a lot of you guys down there and just to venture out just to network and go up all the all the way up in the east coast all the way up to maybe new york jersey area so that's the plan we'll see um but that's it guys till next time